Hi Julia Watts here and welcome to this video and today we're going to be doing the second of the Fairy Hooks videos with Mabel's Lily of the Valley which is one of the uh, flower fairy sets. Um, so we're going to be using Mabel and this set comes with uh, the fairy and two sizes of the flowers. Now they're um, classed as Lily of the Valley or they're named as Lily of the Valley but I think they're more like the bluebells that we get um, in this country around about May time. And um, we're also again using a paper from the Misty Whisk paper pad, which is uh, one of my current favourites. Lots of moons and um, beautiful um, sort of uh, wooden texture type backgrounds in lots of different colours and um, uh, you know really good quality 24 double sided sheets 24 designs two sheets of each and 216 GSM so really good to work with so I've gone for this one which is very monochrome so we're going to be dealing with uh, lots of uh, stamping in black uh, with this one um, and I just really think it looks really moody and um, love it so I've trimmed it down to well, that's the back which is e equally usable I've trimmed it down to five and three quarter inches square and so we can go on a six by six card so let's make a start and I found my, my uh, press to impress backing uh, sheets here which I, I like because they've got lines on them and it means that we can um, line things up properly uh, so let's just pop this in here make sure it's really butted up into the corner so the plan is to have on the previous project I used all three and you can watch that on the YouTube channel um, all the products that we're using are available from my website which is juliawattcrafts.co.uk for shipping to UK addresses. You can also find them on uh, fairyhooks.com for worldwide shipping. And in the previous one, um, I used all three um, sample, uh, all three uh, stamps, but this time we're just going to use the big one and Mabel and we're going to bring in some other stamps from the Fairy Hugs range as well. So we're just going to pop this just on here, overhanging the moon. Um, these sets are absolutely brilliant because they do all the work for you and if you team it up with one of the papers from the paper packs um, then you, you know your job's done really it's, it's, it's absolutely fantastic so we're going for Nocturne Verse Fine Claire and you will find all the Verse Fine Claire's on my website really good GC ink pad um, you can get reinkers for the Nocturne and I do currently have those in stock too. Now the papers are kind of, I, I like to say they're semi-coated, um, which means that um, they take the inks really well, but they don't suck them up. So um, it, as a stamper, it's brilliant because it gives you the opportunity to be able to stamp them really well uh, on lots of time on first impression and obviously they're silhouette stamps so they need a little bit more attention than your fine line stamps but they're really good there we are perfect first time drop that down so you can see it really nice and moody isn't it i really like this okay so that's my number one Wipe. They are photopolymer stamps ma manufactured in the USA, so they're really good quality, really nice deep stamps. So let's have Mabel now. And we'll pop her, let's just pop her, let's see. Let's pop her to one side there, so she's not actually overlapping the, I'll call, I'll call it a bluebell, um, and the space to have other things around her. And 
make sure it's really butted up into the corner so that if you need to stamp her again, you can replace it perfectly. I'm not such happy. She's got beautiful plaited hair. And really nice, kind of slender wings. To know your stamps and you get to know where you need to press a little bit harder. Oh no, Mabel. She's pretty good. She's pretty good, but she's on a really dark background, so I am going to give her another another inking. I'm just going to focus on her body. I don't want to lose some of that detail on her wings. but you've got all that detail can you see you've got uh, the detail on her um, plaited hair and she's got a little flower on her um, on her top there really really pretty they are excellent stamps okay that's Mabel so there's the, there's the only two stamps that we're going to use from the set This project is part of my challenge to make three new projects with each of the flower fairies. I haven't done video, I've done some of them, I did them last year, um, and I haven't done videos of all of them, which um, I'm sorry about that, but um, I thought I'd do videos of these. Um, now I want to see if I can get uh, mini, mini owls in, because uh, we can have a mini owl just sat on top of the bluebell there. See if we can fit him in. Put his foot just about bits, look, just about his foot on there. And then we're also going to have, I think, um, we can have mini hairs. I'm going to have a cat as well. So I think we might have this mini cat here. I quite like him on his feet. So he's 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 putting his hands up to Mabel, hoping that she's got something for him for him. And you've got a right and a left, and you've got two different sizes of that star cat. And then with the hairs, let's have um I want it there to be in proportion, so I think we're going to have this one because the hair is normally, it's not always smaller than a cat, but um, we're going to say he's here. We're going to have a little hair there. So we've got three little animals there. And these were these little animals were part of the mini world release, um, which was, um, I think it was about May time 2022. There's so many new releases, which is wonderful, absolutely wonderful. So let's add our animals again. We're just going for black. They stand out. Make sure it's really up in the corner because I think I'm going to have to go again with these. I haven't used some of these for a while, not because. I've fallen out with them, it's just that there's so many to use. I use the cats a lot, obviously, because I'm a cat lover. They're pretty good actually, but I want them darker because they're on such a dark background. I do want them darker, just making sure they're pressed across the corner. Don't worry about all the ink on my.
I don't think I'm going to add any foliage this time to the um, to the base here. I did on the project, the, uh, the number one project, which you'll find on my YouTube channel. Um, but I think for this time we're just going to leave it so that it's quite a barren land uh, because it's quite moody. Uh, so I think that, that fits in really nicely. I mean, you could have extra foliage coming down uh, over the moon if you wanted to. But I am going to keep it simple um, just to show you that you don't have to have absolutely loads and loads of um, stamp sets. I mean, obviously, if you wanted to, you could just use several of the hairs. So instead of having the owl up there, we could have that hair. Um, you could have another little hair running in here. So you don't you don't actually have to have three different lots of animals. I just have because I can. Um, so don't panic and think, oh, if I want to make that card, I've got to use lots and lots of, uh, buy lots and lots of stamps because you don't have to. You can make your seeds fit your budget and as with the pre previous project um i didn't use any animals i just used the three stamps in Mabel's um uh, lily of the valley so just to finish this one off all we're going to do is add a sentiment i don't think i'm going to actually even add any color to her wings on this i'm just going to leave it monochromatic so we've got some, this is called uh, Smallest Things, and it says sometimes the smallest things take up the most room in your heart, which I think we can all agree is definitely a thing that we think of with animals, isn't it? So let's just check that I've got that straightish and where I want it. fantastic sentiments in the uh, fairy hooks library now something for all occasions a lot of them are very thought-provoking and they just fit really well and I love the way that they mix up the fonts as well makes it more interesting to look at finished how easy is that i'm not going to fold that out because that's a new one try and see how quick how, how long i can keep that background paper nice and clean so let's just map this so you can see this on a black background because black really makes things pop do you remember that burst fine clear stays wet for a while and as these are um these papers don't sort of suck up the ink um just be careful that you don't stick your fingers in it and it could be that I would have transferred some ink to my mat so I have to be careful of that you don't need much glue this is the sentimentally yours PVA that I'm using I'll just put this on here so I've just trimmed a piece of black card for six by six Is obviously, let's see if we can get that straight. Oh, let's just take it off again. Aren't we doing with it not being straight? Or as straight as I can get it. Okay, look. That's good. I want to give it a press on the back. And there we are. There's our finished card. I'll just show you the one that was from the first project as well. This is the one from the first project, so you'll be able to see this on my YouTube channel. So, side by side, you've got two similar but different projects. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, if you're not already a subscriber, it'd be wonderful if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, and like and comment on a, a video if you can. Uh, there's also the Fairy Stamper YouTube channel, which is really worthwhile subscribing to. Lots and lots of videos on there, uh, especially from Bonnie. And um, if you're on Facebook, uh, you'll find me at Julia Watts Crafts. 
and there's also the Facebook group for Fairy Hug Store and on there you'll see lots and lots of um, projects by the design teams and also you'll see sneak peeks early and we do encourage you to actually share your makes on there as well. So once again, all products are available from juliawattscrafts.co.uk for shipping to UK addresses and also from fairyhugs.com for worldwide shipping. Thank you for watching.